Hang on tight, because on this episode, we're headed to New Mexico, and there's over a hundred golf courses to choose from, and we brought to you the top 10 public golf courses in New Mexico. So let's take a swing into it, but before we do, take a look at our channel. We're hitting every country, we're hitting every state and looking at that public golf course. So if you like what you see so far, it's only going to get better from here. You can only improve. That's the only thing you can do. So let's zoom in now to our number 10th golf course on this list, and it's a college favorite. That is the University of New Mexico's golf course. This course opened in 1967 and has been ranked a top 25 public golf course around the country a few times, at least in the early 90s from Golf Week magazine. Now it had a couple updates a few years later in 1998, and Golf Week dubbed it the championship course number two in the West, behind only Stanford when it comes to college golf courses. So it's a pretty impressive golf course when you're looking at different golf courses that other colleges play at. So that's now going to bring us in to number ninth on our list. And again, this list is constantly changing. We're going to be updating it periodically. So there's no definite number 10 golf course, number nine golf course. It's going to change. But this one's a fun one here. It's a community link style championship course, Rock Wind. Now this course was built in 2020. 2015 and it has bluegrass fairways and bent green grass. It was designed by golf architect Andy Staples. It stretches 7,103 yards with a slope of 127 and a rating of 73. It's a public municipal course and it also had different change names throughout the years but this is a fun golf course nonetheless and it probably should move a little bit higher on our, our list in a unique spot there uh, just a gem course all in all let's zoom out because now we got eight more golf courses to choose from and we're saving the best for last and number eight is an absolute gem and it's it's called the inn of the mountain gods it's one of the championship courses here and, and as you can see this is this is interesting this course doesn't look like you're actually in new mexico course was designed in 1975 by ted robinson senior has bent fairways and bluegrass or bent greens and bluegrass fairways open year round and stretches 6,080 6,834 yards with a ranking rating of 72.1 and a slope of 132. It's 18 holes of just breathtaking golf here. Look at this. There's even a lot of a lot of water on this course too. This is pretty cool. Let's take a look now at number seven on this list. We are slowly moving into our number one golf course. Sure, you could skip, but let's let's take a look because now you could play all these golf courses. So it's it's important to at least consider this one in the north part of the state. It's a par 72 that stretches 7,302 yards, has a slope of 127 or 9, and a rating of 73.6. It was built in 2000, or no, it wasn't built in 2000. It was built in 1992, but had some updates in 2000. Its golf season is from March 1st to November 1st. It has bent grass greens and blue grass fairways. It was designed by golf architect. Just a great course to bring us closer now into our number six top public golf course in New Mexico. Number six is a fun one. It's called Twin Warriors and it's long. It's 7,736 yards from those back tees with a slope of 140 and a rating of 75. Point four. It's a challenging golf course here. Built in 2001 and has hybrid blue grass fairways and some bent green. Uh, it's open year long, which is interesting, and was designed by golf architect Gary Planks. And it doesn't look like it had some major updates. It does offer a driving range, a golf school, teaching pro, has all the amenities uh, to really get you started. And look at some of this footage of this golf course. This looks like a gem. It's now going to move us into our top five golf courses left to play and look at in New Mexico. We're going to hit all of them. So that's why if you're halfway through here, subscribe. It ain't going to hurt. 
Let's zoom in now to number five on our list. This is a resort style course and another long one. This one's stretching 7,755 yards. It was built in 2005 by Scott Miller. A lot of water into play and it's been ranked the top uh, golf course in New Mexico. And this resort style course has a slope of 129, a rating of 75.5, so even harder than the last golf course and 18 holes of just fun golf. That's gonna do it for the top first five of this list, or six now. We're gonna be moving now into number four on, we're getting close to top three, number four on this list. This one's a beautiful golf course here, and it doesn't look like there's one there, but when you zoom in, you can clearly see there's a golf course, and here's some great aerial footage of that course. And at Black Mesa Golf Course, Golf Club, this course stretches 7,307 yards with a slope of 141, a rating of 73.9, and it's a par 72. It opened in 2003 and was designed by Mike Nizzo. It has a driving range, a golf school, a lot of amenities to kind of get you started out there. It's been ranked a top public golf course in New Mexico, about fourth, fourth and fifth the third uh, by Golf Digest and a couple other major golf magazines but this area of footage of this gem out there is well worth taking a look at. Just like that we are down to the top three public golf courses left to play in New Mexico. So let's zoom in now to number third on this list Red Hawk Golf Course. This one could move back in our list a little bit but we pushed it over the edge to give it our number third spot and there's it's a long course. It stretches 7,523 yards. It has a rating of 74.9 and a slope of 133. The course was built in 2011, and the golf rates for this are very cheap. And all these courses are very cheap, uh, about $25 to play it. From those black tees, it has a rank, uh, a, well, we already did that. It's a par 72. It's a great golf course. And it's now going to move us into our number two on this list. If you made it this far or fast forward, it, this list is constantly changing and there's probably some better golf courses that we already went through. So I would go back and revisit it, come up with your own list. Let's zoom in now to number two on this list. This one's a well-known one. This one arguably should be number one. People know this golf course. It's a par 72 designed by golf architect Ken Dye. It stretches 7,000 249 yards with a slope of 140 and a rating of 74.3 there's a couple tee boxes five total to choose from the back tees are the gold tees and that is almost under 7200 yards An, a great golf course a championship layout multiple tee box as we just spoke of this is a fun golf course to get out and play and pretty reasonable too a little bit higher than the last one but we're, the prices are changing with golf so much that we don't even want to put them in there let's zoom now into number one on this list and if you made it this far you probably already know which one we're missing look at this 18 hole championship course there can die course here it was built in the year 2000 it stretches along 7,562 yards, has a slope of 138, and a rating of 75.2. It's open year-round and has Kentucky bluegrass fairways with bent grass greens. And I'll tell you what, I'm not spending too much to play this course, but it's up there in price, a couple, hundred, maybe a hundred bucks or something. Again, these prices are constantly changing. That's going to do it for our list. We have so much more golf that we missed, and we're going to constantly update this channel as we move throughout the, the updates. Keep a lookout for more videos to come. This is World Twilight Golf. Go fly. Launch control. This is Houston. We are go for launch.